discuss a loop in C++ programming and loop is very useful technique in programming why do we need a loops uh, let's discuss a scenario uh, let's say uh, you have to print counting from 0 to 19 what will you do uh, you will simply write C out 0 and then C out 1 and 2 and 3 and 19 well that is okay but that is not uh, the right way to do this because here you are repeating the same line again and again with just one difference of the value so for such scenarios where you have a repetition of code repetition of uh, uh, code statements uh, you can uh, have a very good technique that is the technique of loop and you can uh, avoid that repetition of code using the uh, loop so this is the syntax of a uh, loop uh, we will uh, right now we will discuss while loop so in loop uh, first of all we uh, we initialize some variable and then we evaluate a condition of the uh, and that is the condition of the loop and if the condition is true we enter the block of that loop and after executing that a uh, block of code we come back to the condition and evaluate that condition again and if the condition is still true uh, we again go to the block of the code and so we keep on uh, moving in this loop and as soon as this condition goes false we jump out of the loop block and uh, goes go with the rest of the code so let's try a uh, while loop now so in uh, in a loop we really uh, control uh, the loop with either a counter or a sentinel so you can say we can control a loop with a counter variable or a sentinel variable so let's see what is a counter variable so for this example let's see where you have to print uh, counting from 0 to 19 uh, let's define a counter variable uh, you can name it anything like if I say call it counter then it's okay so it's a counter and I initialize the counter variable with zero value and so now I write the while while is a keyword for while loop and this princess contains the condition for that loop here I will evaluate the condition and as long as this condition is true we will keep running between this block and as soon as this condition go false we will jump out of this block and we will move here so let's I write here that as long as counter is less than 20 we will keep running this code and here I print counter so what will happen uh, counter is 0 this condition is true because 0 is less than 20 it will print 0 on the console screen and then it will move back here to evaluate the condition again again the condition is true so it will again print this counter and so it will keep moving between these lines and this is an infinite loop because we are not changing the value of counter so this condition will always stay true and this is called an infinite loop so it's very important that you should do something to make this condition false at some point otherwise you will be trapped in this infinite loop like let's execute this code and here you are trapped in this infinite loop we are printing this zero again and again so uh, let's do something uh, let's increment this counter variable here and I say counter is equal to counter plus 1 so here first time counter is 0 this condition is true we printed 0 and next time counter became 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 so now counter is 1 this condition is again true 1 is less than 20 and we printed 1 then counter became 2 again this condition true and uh, when the counter becomes 20 then this condition becomes false and we jump out of the while loop and we do not go inside so here you will print counting from 1 to 20 let's add some end line as well to insert a line break so here now you will have the printing of counting from 0 to 19 that's fine so here we are incrementing the counter by one value in each iteration of course you can change your logic if you uh, want to make these iterations 
uh, half of these iteration you can increment it by two value so first time counter is zero second time it is two then four then six eight so on so now it will again print the counting but skipping the odd values like zero four six four right so this is the counter control loop the next I say that there is a sentinel control loop in the sentinel control loop uh, instead of a counter variable you have some sentinel variable that means can you uh, get some input from the user and uh, based on that input you decide whether to continue the loop or to break the loop so let's say I create an application to guess the age and I say it is an age variable and initially I do not enter anything for age and I print on the screen that guess my age and here I apply and line then I see and get age from the user and then I we go to the loop body and inside the loop body first we apply some condition and let's say my age is 37 then I will say as long as age that is entered by the user is not 37 this loop will keep running so this is a condition if age is not 37 we will go inside the loop and here we will say oh well uh, try again try again okay so yes yes and uh, then we again input the value from the user give we give him another chance so uh, he will keep trying and he will be trapped in this loop as long as he is not able to get the right value and as soon as he guesses the right value this loop will stop here as, as soon as this age is 37 so this condition will become false and we will get out of the loop and here we will write congress so this is a sentinel controlled loop and here this age variable is actually called sentinel uh, so let's try this and here he says guess my age I said 16 panel try again I said 20 try again 21 try again and finally I write 37 congrats and you are out of the loop so this was a little introduction about the loop so stay tuned for the next lectures.